Hello, Indian women in Dubai. So, girls, if you can see us, if you can see, hear us, can you please say a big hello? I can see people joining us. Hey, hi Manali, how are you? Manali, we need to meet. <laughs> hey, hi Priya, thank you so much. Are we audible? Are we here? Can you hear us? Hi Gitanjali. Hello. Lovely to see people joining us. Um, very, very, very excited about the session today. I am honored and very privileged to sit next to Mr. Satish, who is the head for international uh, division for Manipal University. And the topic of our conversation today is career opportunities after having an online degree. We're going to explore and get to know a little bit more about Manipal University, how Mr. Satish is spreading education online all over the globe these days, and how IWD can also be a part of their online career momentum. So, you know, we'll talk about the opportunities for the courses available there, uh, the changing education scenario, and equally, I want to keep this a very open session, girls. So if you have questions regarding anything related to education, anything you're interested in, please feel free to ask and we'll make sure we answer them. So without taking more time, I'm going to hand over to Mr. Satish. Please tell us a little bit about your journey so far and more about Manipal University. Thank you. Thank you, Reema. Uh, very good evening, everybody. Uh, it's wonderful to see the enthusiasm that this community brings in. And uh, I congratulate all the members out there who have kind of supported this community and Rima. It's wonderful to know more about it today. Till date, I was only hearing it from others, but it's good to hear it right from the ambassador herself today. Uh, so I am Satish. I've been uh, part uh, of the education arena and uh, education journey for about 15 years uh, in my career. Uh, like Rima mentioned, uh, I'm currently heading international division for Manipal uh, uh, online digital ecosystem on the education side and both on the B2B, uh, business to business learning and development side. And uh, in Dubai, it's been a long time. It's an uh, encouraging city, a, a very wonderful place to be. Uh, it challenges people and a lot of things happening around when it comes to education, startups, so on and so forth, and a lot of young blood coming in. So that's, that's uh, my opening note. Uh, if I talk about Manipal uh, in particular, uh, reminding whenever we say Manipal, people uh, either recall Sikki Manipal or yes. they, will, they will kind of recall, you know, Manipal is a university as such. Yes. But I'm going to unfold a lot of uh, uh, different aspects which probably many of the members may not be knowing. Okay. And the first one is that uh, Manipal actually at the group level is a very large institution. Uh, okay. It's known as MEMG, Manipal Education and Medical Group on the global footprint if I can call so. Mm -hmm. And uh, the group has uh, 28 hospitals also which wow. probably uh, uh, may be a very unknown uh, uh, number for somebody. Uh, yeah, did you know that IWD about the hospitals? I, I didn't actually. <laughs> yeah, it's so a 28 hospitals we have and we have recently acquired a couple of uh, those and that's make the number 28, which is the second largest chain of hospitals back in country in India. Wow. Uh, and if I talk on the education side, and that's how the name goes, Manipal Education and Medical Group. So whatever we have done in the last 70 years, it's in a way we're touching lives in by means of education mm -hmm. or by means of healthcare services that we are into. Absolutely. And uh, some of the other way, both these sectors have been quite challenged during the uh, COVID situation. And mm. they have done their uh, you know uh, duties uh, pretty well uh, across uh, all the institutions in Manipal and outside the other competitors that we have. On the university side, Rima again, uh, like I mentioned, Man Sikki Manipal is only one of our universities. So okay. we have about 11 universities wow. established in six countries. Wow. Uh, a few of these universities are into the medical domain mm -hmm. and rest all universities including one in Dubai that we have yes. uh, are into all the other undergrad and postgrad programs. Okay. So you talk about engineering, you talk about hotel management, you talk about management, you talk yes. about computer application, you talk mm -hmm. about B.Tech, be it anything. Yes. So that's the spread of it. Okay. And uh, people have known Sikkim Manipal a little more over other universities. One mm -hmm. of the reasons could be uh, Sikkim Manipal used to drive the distance education for us. Right. Okay. And uh, after some regulatory changes back in 2013-14, uh, mm -hmm. the distance education was kind of uh, uh, put on hold because uh, Manipal is one organization which is very, very compliant mm -hmm. and uh, it will never go outside the compliant boundary. Uh, okay. So whatever the Ministry of Education will put down, we will yeah. follow it. Okay. And uh, a mesmerizing number, probably for all the viewers also, uh, Manipal has all in all about 1 million alumni over these wow. uh, 60, 70 years that I'm talking about. 
and many of these alumni are into CXO positions, they are at celebrity positions. So uh, today, if I can hypothetically mention, uh, probably every fifth organization in India or every 20th or 30th organization in the country, in, in the yeah. world would have a Manipal, Manipal alumni in some way. Wow. Because one million is not a small number. Absolutely. And then you can imagine uh, uh, today probably we are talking about one million families in a way, work yes. one, families in a way. So yes. that's, that's how it is. Yeah. And you were talking about Mr. Satya Nadella, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> he is so, one of the alumni of Manipal University. Correct. And one of their biggest brand ambassadors, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So as an alumni, he comes to us as a brand ambassador, uh, just to correct there the fact. Go. And he's been, yeah, he, he was a part of Manipal family. And many like Mr. Nadella, yes. uh, who are in uh, different countries across the world at CXO position. So, and it's all because Amazing. of, uh, of course, the hard work that individuals put in in their career. Yes. Uh, but at the same time, what I believe uh, coming in from education, I think uh, your teachers, your education institution, the culture, the environment, yes. it all adds up to that. Absolutely. Right? So it's the environment that plays a role eventually. Uh, you take a person from anywhere, put him in a different environment, and he can perform totally different. Right. So yes. the institute does play a large part, uh, but again, uh, let's not take away the credit from their individual personalities. Yes. No, absolutely. Big respect for him. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, sound check, girls. Are we audible? Are we visible? Okay. Can I just get a quick yes? So that we make sure if we need to change anything, the camera angle, everything, anything and everything. Please can you say a quick yes, if you can hear me okay and Mr. Satish okay. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to ask you my first question. Um, education sector is one of the sectors which has evolved, it has seen challenging times during the pandemic. Where do you see it growing, going from here? Yeah, um, so I think uh, there are two sides to it, uh, Prima, demand and supply side like any business. And uh, if you see it from the institution standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, I think unlike before, where a lot of educational institutes used to just carry out the curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, but now even especially good institutions like Manipal, uh, yes. they align very strongly by various means when it comes to the corporate need or the job market need. Mm -hmm. So that is one big shift. That shift had come in the last couple of years, yeah. but I think because of the pandemic, yeah. that is, if I say where it will evolve, that will play a much stronger role okay. because the job market has been challenged even more during pandemic. People have lost jobs and if you talk to parents today, individuals, working professionals who want to do higher education mm -hmm. or even known working uh, people, they all have aspirations to do something. Right? Mm -hmm. And everybody needs to go through a certain knowledge path to increase bounds of rationality, if I can say so. Mm -hmm. And that's where, uh, that's one thing which education is evolving. It mm -hmm. is trying to link the curriculum, the, what is needed at the marketplace, what's needed at the job place. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, so that's going very strong. Therefore, yes. if you see the birth of a lot of uh, uh, recent terms like data science, analytics, yeah. uh, you talk about uh, blockchain, IoT, you know, all of this is becoming part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. The second thing which we see happening very strongly is, is kind of bilateral trades, if I can say so for the audience, you know wherein uh, the exchange programs are taking stronger shapes. People are studying there for two, three semesters in, in, in one country and then they're having an exchange for their yeah. interns or something in the another place. Yes. Right. Then corporate relations are going stronger. Yes. Both ways. One from the institution side and second, even the corporates are coming and saying, hey, let me save cost. I will hire graduates or I'll hire just grade 12 people, yeah. put them on online degrees while mm. they work for me. Yes. So they're getting a degree and they're getting an experience at the same time. So uh, after pandemic in the last, I would say 12 months, mm -hmm. it's it's moving much, much faster yeah. than it has been into the last five, seven years. So yeah, all absolutely. these things are, have been happening, but in the last one year, it's moving very fast. Yeah. Last but not the least, I would I like to mention for the audience, a very common question that comes to us, and it's mm -hmm. online degree, how will I write exam? Yeah, right? yeah. So you'll be surprised to know that we ourselves have done over 6 million assessments, because that's one of the job that we do as a group. Right. We have an assessment entity, Yes. which means I'm talking potentially 6 million exams. Wow. We've done okay. 6 million exams only in the last 16 months. Okay. And wow. some of these uh, awesome. drives have been massive, 35,000 students writing exam at the same time from their homes. Mm. Because it's locked down in different okay. states, different countries, you cannot go out. Yeah. So these are the different areas where education is strongly evolving in terms of blends, uh, the blended learning from yeah. the uh, campuses and from the home. Yes. Uh, even in, in UAE, the way you know you see UAE have managed it, uh, you have schools to colleges, everything yeah. happening in a blend yeah. format. So that's the that's the future. Yeah, yeah, blended learning seems like the future, and there's there's this twist between higher education versus skill development, right? Absolutely. So. Uh, considering the current and the future, what's your take on that? I think it's going towards blended skill. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think uh, 
if you if if uh, and I'm sure a lot of the member in the audience would be uh, working professionals. Many yeah, of them. Yeah, lots of them. I yeah. think. Yeah. So uh, even if they are hiring today, let's say if there are many managers in this group yeah. of IWD. If they go hiring, uh, the first kind of rejection, which I also face many times when I hire, yes, that we they only have degree. Uh, we don't see confidence in students. There is no yes. experience. There is no exposure. Yes. So when we talk about skill development, uh, it will be both soft skills and the functional skills, okay. which will play a stronger role in addition to the education. Okay. And the education you could be a graduate, you could be a master's, you could be in a B Tech, M Tech, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. But if you don't display uh, the competences, which mm -hmm. is the soft skill or the functional skills, mm -hmm. the job market would be tough for you. Okay. Yes. And same lies for the experienced people. Mm -hmm. It's not only for the freshers. Yes. You know, people who have five to ten years, so mid-career that we talk about, that's that's been yes. challenged very strongly during pandemic also. A lot of mid-career people have lost jobs, yeah. unfortunately. That's true. And these are the people, if, if I think this in a way is, is a time to kind of introspect and see how can I polish my skills too while I'm yes. trying to grab a new job. Yes. So these online degrees brings you that flexibility. And with the online degree from Manipal, mm -hmm. you do get access to about 40 skill development programs. Right. Which okay. are on the soft skill side and yes. also on the functional side. So they are on technology, they are on different uh, functional areas mm -hmm. in terms of banking, finance, analytics, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Okay. And that kind of brings in that blend in you. While for whatever reason you would have left your education or even aspirations to study more, mm -hmm. you can do your degrees, but you can also go through the skill development part. And the third point, the way we are trying to kind of add in mm -hmm. by means of our uh, uh, online degree programs and campus programs, mm -hmm. every week, if you remember, you know, you, you've been a fantastic IIT IM graduate yourself. So if you go back to your days, you would have industry guest lectures happening. Yes, we do. Uh, I remember yeah. those. We used to go to the auditorium every week running. Right. You know, and there's an excitement. <laughs> yes. There's a guest lecture. There's yeah, a guest yeah, lecture. Yeah, something something nice different than the regular academic session. Yes. So here also, every week to 10 days, there are guest lectures happening, which are okay. taken by industry experts. Right. And that's where uh, our strength of alumni base uh, yes, brings that uh, kind of, you know, as a given to yes. us, all our alumni members, this do support us. They are yes. into strong positions. Pretty much every guest lecture is about 10 to 20 years, or average 15 years yes. of experience. So they bring in that uh, into the guest lectures, even in the virtual mode. So in a year, if you see, yeah. you go through about 40 to 50 guest lectures. Wow. So it all depends what is your interest. So yeah. there is IT we are talking about, there is banking we are talking about. So mm -hmm. whatever is your interest as an attendee, be it mm -hmm. a student, be it a working professional, mm -hmm. you gain from it. Very good. Uh, I think those, I really used to enjoy those lectures personally because, you know, you get to meet different personalities and at that time when you're trying to decide which career to take, they, you, some of them could be inspirational for you. From from IWD in particular, we I get so many messages from housewives or family, you know, women who've taken a break from their career right. and want to go back into education. And 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 this so many almost every on an everyday basis, I get a message. You know, I want to start something from home. I want to go back to a career opportunity. Your online courses. Who can take these online courses? Is it for students only? Or is it for working professionals? Is it for uh, housewives? Is it for family-oriented women? Who, who are who is eligible to join these online courses? So anybody who is holding a grade 12 or a graduate degree, okay. uh, basis which degree or course they want to enroll in, yes. right, they're eligible. So I would not say there is an age bar. Uh, okay. We have had as senior as a candidate of up to 67 years of age from US. Wow. That so okay. and Hats off to somebody starting yeah. education at 67, <laughs> but yes. We in fact, you know, asked a couple of times, you know, sir, you really want to register? He said, yeah, mm -hmm. I always wanted to study MCA. And he's a well-educated person. Right. So there is no age bar. Okay. Uh, it's it's uh, the qualification that matters. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to do the graduate program, which is BBA, BCA, BCom, yes. uh, that's where the grade 12 is mandatory. Mm -hmm. You should be a grade 12 pass out. Okay. And if you are looking for masters, which could be, you know, MBA, MCA, MCom, yes. MA in journalism, yes. uh, right. Uh, there you need to be graduate or, okay. or uh, you know, kind of a 12 plus 4, 16 years of education, which is 12 plus, uh, you know, B.Tech or right. anything like that. Okay. So that's the prerequisite. And the second prerequisite is uh, the uh, scoring. So it should be 50%. Okay. Now, there would be universities which people can come across enrolling uh, lower than that percentage also. Mm -hmm. But uh, both for compliant reasons and quality reasons, Manipal yes. follows that threshold. So if it's 50% in grade 12. Grade 12. So class 12, 50% plus is eligible for yes, a absolutely. course. Okay. 
and the graduate basis which degree we are taking part in absolutely and we have had students we have had couples i mean mm-hmm. you'll be uh, surprised to know that many couples have come forward and said that we both want to do bba we both want awesome. to do bca so yeah. uh, in a way we also see it kind of you know a different collaboration tool for the families yeah they can study together exchange yeah. notes <laughs> yeah so my next question is you know we are talking to indian women in dubai yeah. and mo- our audience is based in dubai do we need to go and visit your campus for this or is this all done online uh as they're indian women in dubai they are all welcome to visit the campus whenever they're in india it's uh, it's going to be uh, their yeah. campus once they enroll yes. and uh, but the as far as education part is concerned uh, no it's all online uh, okay. the learning will happen online they okay. can take it from the comfort of uh, whichever location they are mm-hmm. uh, even uh, you know uh, from a home from a office conference room if they are free uh, you know or back in india when they are on their vacation yes. so there is no restriction yes. and also the exams okay they'll happen online uh, everything is online absolutely so, so basically mode. everything is online you don't need to get on the airplane especially aajkal abhi india jana hai nana is so difficult you don't need to go to india you can do you can register online you can take your courses all the education materials online and then you can give your exams also online so great opportunity and i see this is a great opportunity for parents whose kids are in dubai right also yes. right so if you want uh, if they want to pursue a higher education being in dubai i think that's great right absolutely yeah. uh, see another thing which has it has done i'll just uh, touch mm-hmm. upon on that point mm-hmm. uh, and i think audience you you must uh, pay full attention to this point Uh, one of the things which covid has done it has impacted the cash statements of families yes right if i can yes, say absolutely. say that way no no ab- that's completely true basically yes. yeah so and and that's where uh, because of which people have lost jobs salary cuts or maybe there were two jobs in family now it's only one uh, one of the major purpose which we are driving or vision we are driving is accessibility so online part because brings in the accessibility and affordability mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so the degrees are ugc approved Mm-hmm. they are well evaluated because mm-hmm. western education services which people look for for their immigration purposes for higher education or migrating completely you know to canada or any of those places mm-hmm. so these are ugc entitled they are well evaluated coming in from a strong brand at an affordable price so that's Here that's the take so quality is not compromised the pricing is much of value all right great uh, how flexible are the programs at muj uh flexible uh, can you elaborate when you say flexible the flexible can we take breaks in between okay, uh, wow. yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that that way it's very flexible okay. uh, so what happens is uh, every degree that you enroll you kind of get validity for double the duration mm-hmm. so let's say if it's mba you are enrolling for mm-hmm. uh, which is 2 uh, years yes. degree idly yes. but you have a validity of 4 years as a window okay so being okay. working professionals or being you know non working uh, women mm-hmm. uh, uh, right if you if you need more time you couldn't spend time for a particular study you have a window of uh, double the time okay yeah. okay very good i'm just going to open up uh, the questions uh, house for questions if you have any questions please let us know okay we have a question here from zinya what are the courses offered like masters etc yeah hi zinya uh, first of all uh, very good evening thanks for that question so in masters there are uh, four degrees right now which is mba uh, masters in business administration but a uh, point to note is there are eight electives in mba so you have different electives the the standard ones uh, which used to be there even during our times hr uh, marketing finance and then you have some the recent trends which i was referring during this conversation uh, data science and analytics you have fintech and it you have a uh, specialization in bfsi you have an elective in uh, uh, operations management in retail management uh, something which is you know at, at a very large scale let's say in a place like dubai retail is a very strong industry so these are various specialization and then you have other degrees like masters uh, of computer application mca you have masters in commerce and you have ma in journalism and probably 6 uh, months down the line we'll be adding about 10 uh, uh, more degrees uh, in the online degree bit because you have to go through the ugc process every time you're adding a degree even if you're an institution which is uh, so credible and 70 years old wow yeah uh there's another question we should take that up from shweta thank you shweta uh, is 10 plus diploma 3 years eligible to take bca course yeah shweta thank you for that question uh, answer is is yes uh, uh, if you will have to do a bridge course which will also be uh, provided by us but you can go for uh, the bca uh, in that case Okay. Uh, we have a question. Yeah. Yes, we have a question from Marpita. She says, "Any digital marketing courses available?" 
uh, yes, Arpita, uh, digital marketing courses are available. So if you think of it from a degree standpoint, you can look at MBA in marketing and there are a couple of subjects in digital marketing as part of the marketing elective, uh, which is a given these days. And if you're asking this question from a short term perspective, we do a PGC, Postgraduate Certificate in Digital Marketing, uh, which happens uh, pretty much every 60 days. So the next program is about to start, I think, uh, on 31st of August, as early as 31st of August. Okay. Uh, so the answer is yes. And if you're looking for a master's degree, go for MBA in marketing uh, with Manipal. And if you're looking for uh, the PGC, then you can, I mean, uh, a short course, then you can look for PGC in the end. Okay. Yeah. Uh we and have we have another question from Zinia. How about masters in humanity subjects? Do we have any courses there? Yeah. So uh, Zinia, like I mentioned, masters in humanities is there in the campus. Uh, but if you're looking at it from a flexibility standpoint, uh, I think you'll have to wait another uh, four to six months. We'll be adding that degree very soon in the online mode also. Yeah. Okay. So Arpita mm -hmm. says uh, I'm, I'm already, already an MBA. MBA. Uh, yeah, that's brilliant, Arpita. So in that case, I think you can go for the uh, uh, PGC uh, digital marketing, which I mentioned. It's a five months, uh, five and a half months program, and it gives you 17 credits also. But it's 80% uh, hands-on, right from the virtual uh, environment of Facebook, uh, Google, and LinkedIn, and everything. Oh, very nice. And then Valerie says, bridge courses is for how long? Uh, first of all, I think I'll. Uh, Put a remark. You have a very active community. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, know, I, I come you, can, you can guess along so from the questions, yeah, right? You know, so I yes. think that's amazing. Thanks, thanks for being a sport, guys. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, so, bridge courses for how long? That's three months. That's three months. So, in a way, uh, it gives an advantage. So, let's say if you register now, uh, the classes will actually start uh, by October or so, and you you get the access right away in ten days after registration, and you can actually start with your bridge course in the meantime. Great. Uh, and we have another question from Lavina. Zinya, thank you. I hope that answers your question, Zinya. So if you're not, just let us know. Uh, Lavina says, happy to have you in the group. My question is, do you provide internship after graduation or during the courses? Yes. Uh, so internship and the placement, both opportunities are there. Uh, I would not uh, misquote, uh, which probably uh, other institutions may or may not be doing. I don't know. Uh, so it's not a job guarantee, but both mm -hmm. internship you will get for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. And we try, always try to get you the internship in the domain. So let's say if somebody is doing uh, a BCom, so yes. probably into a finance role is where we'll try to put in internship. Okay. If somebody is doing MBA, uh, like uh, Arpita mentioned, digital marketing. So yes. we'll try to align you with a digital marketing agency or a UX UI agency where right. you learn the core skills. Okay. And the placement assistance is where there's a special series of sessions will be happening for people. Mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of again the competency uh, built up, the yes. soft skill and the functional skill, mm -hmm. and then you go through the placement uh, journey. Right, and I think you have millions of alumni, right? Yeah. As we Big talked, time. and so therefore think, the access to a lot of organizations. I think, jo I for me, like from coming from IIT, I am, I am right. Uh, you tap into your alumni network whenever you need a career change, and I think Manipal University comes with a network of alumni, so I'm sure you can tap into your seniors. Yeah. You know, getting career advice, getting placement, so that obviously and helps. Maybe one more point yes. to this, what Rima just said. Uh, see, the current batch which is going on into the online different degrees is about mm -hmm. 4,000 people. And right. for the audience reference, about 70% uh, of these 4,000 are working professionals. So imagine that you are part of a group of 20 people because a lot of case studies happen, assignment yes. happen in the group. Yes. And 15 out of those 20 are actually working professionals. So you're already hitting a friend network over a window of two years. Maybe. You're creating yes. your own network yes. in addition to whatever we'll be doing. Yes. So it's a big plus. Absolutely. And I guess um, if you are especially looking at master's degrees from experience, it's less about learning the theoretical knowledge. It's more about networking. It's more about getting to know people's experiences and you know how and their journeys in life and why they've come there. So you learn a lot from that networking, getting to know more people rather than just the theoretical courses. That's all a part of the whole process of shaping your future. Um, okay, we ha let's go back to more questions. We have uh, Monica is asking whom to contact for admissions. There you go. <laughs> uh, so a quick reference. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, you please, uh, if you leave your details, yes. with Rima will be happy to address or you yes. can, uh, you can uh, you know, directly go on onlinemanipal.com. Yes. I'll repeat onlinemanipal.com and that's where uh, you can leave your interest uh, for whichever degree you are, you are you know, looking for uh, and we, the team will get in touch with yes. you. Uh, and yes, at this point, I would also like to mention, Rima, there will be a special uh, discount and consideration for IWD members. 
and you will keep getting some communications uh, from IWD uh, team uh, and uh, probably you can even respond to those communications yes. and then we'll take it up from there. So you will be Absolutely. getting special uh, discount, scholarship, whichever time I can give it. Uh, and if there are non-working women in IWD who are looking forward to have their uh, aspiration of education fulfilled, mm -hmm. uh, even for them we'll have a special scholarship. There you go. Oh, uh, of lovely. course, we will get to know, you know, uh, we're yes. coming in from IWD, we'll issue Absolutely. a special code for IWD members. Okay. Well, yeah, and that's how yes. we'll go about it. Absolutely. IWD loves discounts, don't we? <laughs> we love discounts and every time uh, anybody comes to me for promotions, they're like, where's the IWD discount? So there you go, Mr. Satish has already said it. We get 20% off their courses. Uh, and I, we can share all the details of how to sign up, whom to contact after this live also. I leave it on the top of the live so you can go directly to the website and sign up as soon as you know. And we can also give you contact details of the team. So if right. they want to speak one to one and get Absolutely. some counseling, uh, we can share that also. So you can have a direct conversation with the team also in on deciding what's right for you essentially. Let's go back to the questions. We've got Valerie and she is asking, thank you for answering and it's credited from where? Yeah, Valerie, uh, again, I appreciate that question. That's, a, I think, the, one of the most important questions. So uh, the university is affiliated by UGC, University Grant Commission, uh, and uh, also Ministry of Education, uh, uh, like I mentioned. And it has a lot of other credentials. So if you go to onlinemanipal.com, you'll get to know, like, AICT is one of them, and there are many others. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the accreditation part of it. Okay. And because of which, it brings in an international recognition. And uh, like I mentioned, they are best evaluated also. All the degrees are best evaluated. So it gives quite an international uh, authority. Uh, if you want to pursue your higher education, PhD, or anything from anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. it will be el eligible. Great. So it's internationally recognized accreditation. It's a very recognized degree that you get. Essentially. Um, going back to our question from Zinia, we have a large number of Indian teachers in the UAE. It will be good if you can offer courses like BA, MA or MA in English. This will help them to enhance their qualifications. Uh, Zinia, I uh, appreciate that not. Uh, uh, so there is a particular program that we do for teachers actually, uh, which we do in collaboration with an institute called Santa back in India. It's mm -hmm. a dedicated institution for teachers development. Mm -hmm. And again, the mode is online. Uh, so it's not a BA, but it's a very, very skill based teachers development program of about six months. Uh, coming to the last part of the question, which is MA in English. Mm -hmm. uh, so MA in journalism and communication, it's, it's a lot about uh, communication beyond English, I would say. Uh, so that is something if, if somebody is not particularly looking in MA in English and wants to enhance the personality, the communication, uh, the extrovertness, the, the uh, you know, way of accessing information, how do you convey information. So you can certainly look for MA in journalism too. Okay. Yeah. I uh, hope that answers your question. Just let us know if it doesn't. We are happy to answer more. Uh, moving on to the next question, Arpita. If you can also brief uh, everyone about the whole process of how to enroll. Okay. Okay, that, that's uh, uh, an important point. Yes. Uh, Arpita, uh, so what happens is, uh, once you get in touch with uh, our team, uh, we will be uh, putting you on the application form. Uh, we get your basic information and you get an app online application form. You have to fill in the application form where it is basic details and other generic information about your education. And uh, then you have to pay the semester fee. Once you pay the semester fee, the university team acknowledges your uh, payment rec uh, receipt and then you go to the document upload. Once you upload the documents, if there is everything okay with respect to your educational documents and uh, other ID related documents which are asked for, for example passport or any other national ID that you may have, uh, then you get the approval, which is the approval and then within a week you get enrollment number. Now after the enrollment number, you get access to the student portal. And if you go to the uh, website, like I mentioned, you'll also find a video which gives you a complete view of the student portal, how you experience going to be. It's a good five minutes video, very detailed, and uh, that will help you understand about the post enrollment journey as well. Mm -hmm. The classes are live, classes happen over the weekend, uh, and it's about a, a decent 15 hours about of uh, effort over a week. Okay. So on an average, it's two hours, okay. uh, but certainly about a 15 hours of commitment per week uh, mm -hmm. is, is something which is required. Okay. Uh, from people, yeah. 15 hours per week, so that's what we're looking for. Is is age any bar in the UG and the PG courses? We talked no. about 57 years, 67 years. <laughs> that was the, uh, that was the kind yes. of, I call him youngest, yeah. always the oldest, because yeah, 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 the yeah. aspiration is too young at that age. So. All right. Yeah. Uh, just moving on to the next question from Monica. Monica says, do you have an office in Dubai? Can we contact them too? 
Uh, so there is a campus in Dubai which you mentioned and uh, of course once you leave your inquiry the team will get in touch with you and if you want to have a face to face conversation with anybody at the campus uh, that will be scheduled no problem. Right. Um, the next one is do we have, uh, Valerie says thank you, Zinia says thank you, Valerie do you have postgraduate courses too? Uh, yes, so there are a few postgraduate courses. Uh, so let, let, uh, it's called as PGC. So they are not postgraduate diplomas. There is something called diploma and something called certificate. Mm. So these are postgraduate certificate courses which are of six months, five and a half months uh, duration. Mm -hmm. And the diplomas are typically 11, 12 months of duration, mm -hmm. even to bring clarity to the audience if they go anywhere else as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, when anybody says a master's uh, or a degree, it would mm -hmm. be a full fledged duration. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I would say, uh, dear. IWD members don't uh, fall for praise you know somebody saying 11 months do an MBA and yeah. 18 months do an MBA mm. uh, there are a lot of MBAs to be done in 12 months 18 months no denial about it mm -hmm. uh, but they may not be bringing in the credentials or all the accreditation that I'm talking about okay. yeah so that's the answer for postgraduate courses they're in digital marketing cloud computing in artificial intelligence they're in blockchain so a lot of different uh, skilled areas there are a lot of postgraduate programs okay uh, I hope that answers your question, Valerie. Let us know if it doesn't. Um, I like this next question from Naveen. I, I hope you've read it. So it's interesting. Most of the students want to go for other popular universities in Dubai. Just tell me why Manipal and yeah. if you don't mind. <laughs> no, Lavina, uh, of course you don't mind. That's an interesting question. Competition also always you know, keeps you on, uh, on a run. Uh, it's good actually. Uh, so when you say that you know other popular universities, it's a very relative uh, narration, Lavina. If I say so, so if you tell other popular Indian universities, my answer would be different. And if you say other popular Western universities, the answer would be different. So I'll presume both situations and answer this question for you. So if you talk about other popular Indian universities, so there is S P J N, there is M E T, you know, uh, there is Bits Pilani. I think each of these universities have their own specialization. So if you want to do an M.Tech, uh, mm -hmm. probably I wouldn't mind saying that yes, BITS is also a good choice, mm -hmm. uh, right? Uh, but if you talk about that, why Manipal? Manipal, first of all, brings in a huge credibility. It's a 67 years old institution. I think that's a key whenever you buy anything. I think even if we buy a normal weekend shopping, we try and see what credibility that brand holds. Uh, at least most of us. Mm -hmm. So credibility is one part. Second part, uh, and credibility comes with quality. So there's an immense quality that you get at Manipal in terms of education. You can uh, imagine it from the fact that when I say 50% is the threshold for the admission. Now 50% is not a threshold for a grade 12 pass out or a graduate pass out. It's 40% or 33%, right? But yet the university follows 50%. And if you have to take face-to-face -face, uh, campus admission, then the competition is very, very stiff. You get four times, five times the application. So quality speaks in itself. Uh, and the third part, which I referred a couple of times and Rima also addressed it, uh, is the uh, alumni base, which yes. we were talking about. Yes. Now that brings in a lot of uh, strength, not only to us, to bring best to the uh, students and the, the be it professionals who are there as students uh, in terms of opportunities for them, but also they end up making a lot of connects. The moment you say the money pile pass out, you know, let's say when Rima says I'm an IMIT graduate, it's a different impact altogether. Uh, so is the you know, money pile impact, uh, especially when it comes to the uh, Middle East and Asia uh, region, if I can at least say that. Although we have a university in US also, mm. uh, right? And Malaysia also, we have three universities just to share with people. Wow. And mm -hmm. if I go in the second narration, Lavina, which you said there are other popular university, I think then it is a lot to do. So if you talk about, let's say, Hult, if you talk about uh, Middlesex University, if you talk about uh, Wallengog or any of those, uh, I think that's again a relative narration based on what you are looking at. So there are families uh, who can afford those universities, yes of course, it's again about bounds of rationality, both plays it will be challenged. And one also has to see what is the ability of myself or my kids, for mm -hmm. example, if you're looking for your kids. We meet so many parents and the kids are too shy, you put them into a Hult, they'll be lost. Okay. Or you put them yeah. into any other Western university or, you know, let's say uh, American University of Dubai, they'll be lost. So, mm -hmm. uh, Lavin, a little longer answer, uh, but I hope that uh, that kind of uh, addresses your question and thank you for that, that question. Thank you, Lavina. Hope that answers your question. We'll move on to the next one, Ranjini Ramesh. The sessions are only online or do we have to attend on-campus sessions also for PG courses? Yeah, so Ranjini, for the uh, degrees part, it's online, which I was talking about. And for the uh, PG certificate programs, it's blend. So there are about 30% of the sessions which happen face-to-face -face and 70% they'll be online. 
Uh, hope that answers your question. Uh, Valerie says the classes will be online. So want to know the timings and how many days in a week will we have to attend? Uh, so classes are twice a week. Uh, the classes duration all put together would be about uh, 8 to 10 hours uh, every week. Mm -hmm. And there will be another 8 to 10 hours of self-study. And that's what I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 hours of commitment at least. Yeah. Okay. So 15 hours of commitment. And if we miss a class, are recorded sessions available? Yes. Uh, so I, I, I cannot demonstrate the video here, but let me just give you a view of how your student portal is going to be. Mm. Uh, the student portal will have all the material. So your mm -hmm. reading material, the video tutorials, a lot of recorded videos also for your reference. Mm -hmm. And all the live lectures, if anybody misses those live lectures, the live yes. lectures are deployed on the portal itself. So they can go back and watch Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And the okay. plus part is you have the access of all this content throughout yes. the duration of the degree, which means you've done one semester, you move to semester two, yet you have the content access of semester one. Right. So if you want to go back and refer a particular yeah, concept, a particular lecture, you like the particular teacher, you want to watch it again, you can. Yes. Okay. So it's all available online. It's like it's saved out there for you. Um, Lavina says, I'm so happy you explain it really well. Hope children will also get your point. Okay. I think you can book them in for a consultation with Mr. Satish directly if you're interested, Lavina. And like, you know, then maybe children can understand our point also if they have more questions. Thank so, you, thank you, Lavina. Thank you, Valerie. One of my questions is, what are the technology requirements for doing this? Of um, course. Whatever we're using right now, that's it. So, laptop? So it's a laptop and an internet and okay. uh, a focused mind. I think absolutely uh, the sign up sign up for it and if you have a laptop uh, or an, in, an internet connection I think you're all sorted yes right? absolutely, absolutely very good so I think our questions have wrapped up uh, can I get some concluding remarks some summary and I one point before that I just want to iterate we have 20% discount so if you are thinking about it I'm going to share all the details on the top of the live of going to the university whom to contact please go go ahead and book your consultations and then you can decide which course is right for you. Oh, we have a, one last question. How about the books? Uh, so, uh, like I mentioned, a lot of e-books. You get a complete library access. We have tie up with the uh, top four uh, e-libraries uh, uh, which are there. And these are all integrated with your student portal. So that's a generic library access. Now imagine you walk into a campus and you have a library. You just walk in, you kind of take a book, read, put it back. Mm -hmm. So that way you'll have the open library access plus all the material concerned with your topics, your subjects and your uh, education will come into each topic wise. So let's mm -hmm. say if you are studying uh, introduction to digital marketing, you know, or social marketing media hacks, that's one of the titles, you know, mm -hmm. for example, of subject, you will have the related material just there. It will be videos, it will be assignments, it will be case studies, it will be books. Mm -hmm. So that's how the material comes to you in addition to library. So everything is provided, Absolutely. right? So everything. Will there be e-books? So yes, a lot yes. of it will be e-books. Yeah. Uh, Ranjani, thank you. Great effort, Rima. Thank you so much. I think it's the questions and you coming to the live and supporting us in the session which motivates us to do more of these. So thank you so much. Um, can I get your concluding remarks? Uh, uh, first of all, I think thanks to Elri for her uh, concluding remark. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for being calm with all of us uh, <laughs> and answered all our queries patiently. I'm open for more. Uh, probably we can uh, have later interactions separately with the different members of IWD. Yes. Now, my concluding remark uh, would be, uh, Rima, that a lot of people actually don't get chance to you know, go for higher education for various reasons. Mm -hmm. And this I can say now, when we have 5,000 active students in online degrees, yes. you know, 4,000 who are undergoing and about 1,000 plus have already registered. Yes. And when we see the statistics of these 5,000, there are known working women, mm -hmm. there are uh, people who are above 60 years of age, like I mentioned. Yes. And uh, there are couples, you know, we always wanted to study, but we uh, don't have a luxury of taking mm -hmm. a sabbatical for one year and going and studying in Europe. You know, yeah. that's a, yeah. a good, uh, a good fancy days of a lot of big IT companies they'll give people. Yeah. So whether you are a working professional or you are uh, a housewife uh, having an aspiration to, you know, give some time to self for education or, or had, uh, you know, aspiration sometime that I want to do a master's. Uh, somebody spoke about MA English. If you want to be better in your communication, do MA in journalism. So any aspiration to study, what happens is uh, whenever New Year comes and one is about to come in a few months, we do have this resolution. You know, yes. I want to go and go to gym and I will read five <laughs> books and so on and so forth. My personal take that 
Uh, till that time, you don't throw yourself into an environment. Uh, most often, it doesn't happen. Yes. We may have a, a, a will to do it, but not everybody is able to channelize that will right. Mm -hmm. So my message to IWD uh, group here would be that if you have any aspiration for yourself, if you're looking something good for your kids, uh, or for your partners, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, male partners or male people, uh, if they're looking at it all, female partners, yes. right? If the partners, uh, I think this is a good opportunity uh, where you can look for these uh, online degrees mm -hmm. and that brings you into an environment and a commitment that yes, I have a class, I have to go for it. It's like a meeting. You don't skip a meeting at work, right? Even yeah. if you don't want to be part of it, yes. yet you will go and be part of it. So yes. uh, that will be my message that whatever uh, profile you are into, yes. uh, a full-time uh, role which is a housewife, I respect for all of them or a working professional, uh, you know, 12 hours yeah. into the work or the students. All of you can go for the online degrees. All of you are eligible, provided you have 50% in your respective prior education. Mm -hmm. uh, and age is not a number uh, at all. Uh, it's the it's the will. So that's my remark. Reema. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. And I completely agree. Age is no mar, uh, no bar here, right? And I remember one of the most popular girl uh, posts on the group was when one of the mothers had completed her law degree. Wow. I think it had more than a thousand likes. So you know that is. It doesn't matter whether you're a mom, whether you're a working professional, whether you are a young, just married girl who has moved to Dubai because her husband moved here, and you're looking to go back into careers. Uh, I think education doesn't see what age or you know where you are from or whatever. If you want to sign up, do it today. Um, we have we have one last question actually. We'll take that and we'll wrap up this session. Is can we join any time of the year, or do you have new batches starting? Uh, so for the PG course, uh, which is I said PG certificate in different domains, uh, their frequency is much stronger. Every two three months there is a batch and one can join. But for the degrees bit, uh, it happens twice a year because uh, officially, as part of the regulatory body's input, it's uh, uh, twice a year. So one intake is ongoing right now, and one will be uh, about March April last year, okay. uh, the next year. Sorry. And uh, again, my message would be, uh, you know, better start it now. Why waste next year? When months? does your yeah. next term start? Right now, in September? It'll, the classes will be from October, November. So there you yeah. go. I think, girls, it's time to sign up. Inquire more if you need more information. And I think if we have enough interest, I'm sure the team will be happy to yes. host you and meet you in person. Or, you know, you can go through their offices or arrange some, somewhere to meet so that you can get to know more about the courses and have direct conversations with them. Uh, so absolutely we can organize that for you Valerie and anybody else watching this live session if you're interested in more information we can share that with all of you and with and that yes and please. before we close maybe because Rima said it twice but let me also uh, refer it one more time uh, there will be special discount uh, will be considered for IWD members mm -hmm. uh, if you are inquiring by any means going to the website onlinemanipal.com or uh, if you are you know reaching us through Rima later uh, just mention that you are an IWD member. Of course, uh, we'll verify it in our own way with uh, the IWD team. Uh, but that will give us a reference to bring that uh, benefit which we have committed here. Absolutely. Thank you so much to the whole team, Mr. Satish, for taking out the time today. And here, I'm going to close with your lovely remark. I'm th uh, thank you so much for uh, leaving this lovely comment. That thank you so much to both of you. With this session, it really makes my start to start my studies again. Oh, so we hope you will enroll soon. Yeah. Thank you, IWG. Have a very great evening. And it's all your love you. and response to this that we'll keep bringing such sessions more and more to all of you.